All right, guys, episode number 229, 229 episodes. In this one, I'm going to share with you the basketball cards I got from the three collections that filled my van. First off, I'm going to share with you some of the pickups I got. So I bought from five different tables. So the four boxes you see here, plus that stack right there. These are some dollar cards I picked up. And then two cards I got signed by Marcus Sherrills. I guess I call that his rookie card. So one in silver, one in gold. This one's numbered out of 50. This one is numbered out of 299. Then I have a medium flat rate box. So I'm guessing that this will be five videos right here. So I'll probably combine two and have three separate and then a separate video here. And then here's what the video's about. So these are all the basketball cards from the three collections. So jump in. So these two rows are all optic, prism, mosaic, and metal universe. So we got Lamelo Ball Green, Zion, Evan Mobley, not numbered, but it's a prism. Peyton Pritchard, Zion, Darius Garland, RJ Barrett, Giannis, Lonzo, RJ Barrett, John Morant, Lamelo, Ant Man, Cade Cunningham, and a couple prism rookies. A lot of these I have not gone through, I just saw they were select optic and prism and i put them aside so i'm looking through these for the first time so a lot of quarter cards up to a dollar card in bulk it adds up so if you haven't seen any videos from the series this is from three collections that filled my van about 120,000 cards ended up being maybe 50 to 60 thousand commons that i put in flat rate boxes here are some of the highlights. So the, the metal cards came from the collection in Cannon Falls. The one from West Concord. There was a lot of the newer product, Prism Optic. He opens many, many, many blasters every week. So he has a massive collection of the newer cards. Can only imagine what he spent on retail and it ends up being about 25% of the cost that he put in buying the blasters is what I come in and I buy them for. I had a guy come yesterday, last night, picked up about 130,000 commons and about 12,000 Vikings cards. So the Vikings cards that were sleeved and unsleeved at the show I was able to move those along with about 150 empty, maybe 800 count boxes and lower. So it was nice to clear some space. I think what you'll see in my eBay auctions coming up, you'll see prism bulk lots, ones that are not prism, parallel, I'm curious what 2,000 sleeved prism cards would go for. It's a mystery, but I'm going to run it because i got to clear some space. So when I do a next round of auction, you'll see a lot of flat rate boxes starting at 99 cents. I think the parallels like that, if I include some of the stars... I think on average they'd get a quarter a piece if I threw in some of the stars. I think the base would be around four to six cents a piece, if I had to guess. The base would include LeBron James, Steph Curry, Giannis. It's hard to say. So after doing the run one row, I think you get the idea of what's in here. So I'll do two more piles, and then I'll move on to the next section. There's rookies in here, inserts. No autographs, I assume. I think the collections, pretty consistently, all the autographs and jersey cards were top-loaded. I would have noticed those, I think. Probably some numbered, 
Probably not a whole lot. All right, so the second row is a lot of the same. You get the idea. Here are the rookies that I put in penny, or penny sleeves and top loaders. The value of these is at about $3 or more. I like Blake Griffin because kid I graduated with from high school, Longar Longar, played one season with Blake Griffin. So I've always been a fan of him. Card prices, the card hobby doesn't appreciate it, but local Minnesota guy, too bad he's injured. Got some more Anthony Edwards. Finest Grant Hill. This one is a subset of his rookie year refractor. These go for about 20 bucks a piece. More Anthony Edwards, Giddy, number to 80. Derek Rose, refractor from the iconic LeBron year. I like the platinum parallels. Silver, electric, gold. Pippen and Kobe. I'm not going to go through all of these. So the ones I put in penny sleeves, maybe it'd be quarter cards. That's kind of what I go. If they're numbered or if they're good enough for a quarter, then I throw it in there. So a lot of first day issue, a lot of gold signatures in the bunch. A lot of parallels like that. Let's go to the next one. All right, so here is a Steve Smith. It's from 1999-2000. It's a gold label. It's the red parallel, number to 25. I think I can get 40 bucks for this in auction, but I'd be happy with anything over 10. Sometimes the numbered 90s stuff surprise you. Not sure if there's a big fan base for Gold Babel. Grant Hill, Sean Elliott, Penny Hardaway, Grant Hill. I love that card. Matumbo, Platinum. So these are all the stars. So Penny, Grant Hill, Jason Kidd, Iverson, Shaq, McGrady. I would say it's safe to say that in auction, these would go for a quarter apiece. The lower end stars, lower end cards of stars. So at a quarter apiece, it's about 10 bucks right here. If you sell one card at a time, it would take years and years and years to sell this collection. So that's why I bulk it up. Might get 50% of the value, but I can get cash in seven days. 10 days waiting for people to pay. You know what I mean. All right, next section is the newer stars. I think he's still a star. Number 199. Ja, Luca, Trey, Lamello, Steph. If I sold all my Giannis cards and all my Steph Curry cards, so building up a collection until I get about a hundred, and then I'll list that in auction. Get the point there. Let's move on to the next section. Some of the old time stuff. Not a whole lot in this collection. The last one is the minor stars for basketball. Anytime we get a refractor, top load that. Rookie year inserts. The Matrix parallel out of Stadium Club. Atomic refractor. 
Rookie year insert. Chris Weber, Juan Howard, Derek Rose, a couple of newbies. Paul Gasol, number 25. White Refractor, number 500. Those are gold. Larry Johnson. And then these end up being the minor stars. So we have David Robinson, Kim Elijah one. So this is 3,200 cards. I think a dime a piece on average with some of the inserts in there like this. I think a dime each is reasonable. So that's 320 right here. So a lot of people avoid this. I found a way to make it work with player lots. It takes a lot of energy, takes a lot of time to sort out. It took me three weeks to go through, well, two weeks, two weeks to go through the collections. Those three in the van. Happy with it. So that's the end of this series, the four part series. And we will have videos coming out for the medium flat rate box pretty soon. And then four videos with the cards I got at the card show. Thanks for watching. See you next time.